Okay guys, today we're going to test out Marvel Mystery Oil. And we've used this for a spray cleaner and everything else on other videos. Check out some of the other videos. And what do you think? Is this snake oil? Let me know in the comments below what you think about all this. So right here, if you'll look, it says in fuel, 4 ounces, treats, 10 gallons. So I don't know how well you can see that. But so we need 4 ounces. As you can see here, we have... 24 ounces we have about 10 gallons in the tank so we need to take it to this 20 ounce mark and before I get started I just want to show you some of the other things that this says actually it says increase engine power and compression up to 25 percent okay you can look right here power and mpg improves compression power and mpg so keeps sludge clean uh clean from sludge that is lubricates upper cylinder for smoother idling well we'll see about that so go ahead pour your four ounces in pour. easy as you can see we've done about half of it so we need just a little more okay now as you can see right here I'm on the 20 mark well let's find out tonight when there's basically no traffic on the road will this really help get better gas mileage find out hey guys now let's add in our fuel so as you can see I'm going to make sure we have exactly 10 gallons for this test. I'm going to add 8 gallons. I already have 2 gallons. Okay, we're right where we want to be. Almost perfectly with 8 gallons. Just a little under. So, let's go ahead. Remove this. We will be ready for a test tonight. There you have it. 10 gallons. This is a 13 gallon tank. So, as you can see, we're at our 10 gallon mark. And if you want to verify this, this car is a 2014 Honda Elantra GT. Okay guys, here we are again, and you can see the average MPG, so we are coming up to the spot at which it comes to an end, and we'll see what the average MPG is, so I'm curious to find out. This is a big hill we're going up. I live in a region where there's a lot of mountains. So, here we are. We're almost up to that point. We're at 38.5 MPG. Want to make sure we get this as close as possible. Okay, and we now have it. 37.7. There's a flashing light that was overhead. Well guys, I'm ready to see some results from the Marvel Mystery Oil. And as you can see, we have our uh, fuel and temperature gauge almost the same. The same as it was before during the last test. We want to make sure the weight is the same. The outside temperature is the same and the temperature of the car is the same to get the results for this Marvel Mystery Oil for the miles per gallon the cruise control is set so now as you can see the RPM gauge you can take a look at the miles per hour it's the same and we have nothing running in the vehicle so the load on the vehicle is the same ready to see these results 
I want to see how this turns out. Let me know in the comments below. Do you really believe Marvel Mystery Oil's claims of improved MPG? Or do you think it's just another snake oil? So, let me know in the comments below. I want to see if you guys can guess it right. I want you guys to check out the other video that I have. It's on uh, using Marble Mystery Oil as a spray cleaner. So I just use the Marble Mystery Oil in a spray bottle and spray it down the intake manifold. So, or should I say through the throttle body and it travels through the intake manifold. So I want you guys to check that one out and I always try to do things that you guys can do as well um, to follow up with my tests uh, do some tests of your own see how things turn out you know prove your idol I have a video that I do on CRC I've used it several ways cleaning the throttle plate and you know even on a car that doesn't have that many miles it can make a big difference so what I always like to say is preventive maintenance is the most important maintenance if you allow something to get bad before you do anything about it trying to save money it's actually going to cost you more that way so just like the throttle these electronic throttles they're not much anymore they're not they're just not made to last and as you get oil brought in from the PCB system where it vents fresh air sometimes you can get oil through there um, also other uh, debris or buildup from the air filter housing so you guys want to make sure that you spray that off ever so often keep it clean because it will mess the idle up and it'll cost you gas mileage and it could burn up the throttle plate motor so I've taken each additive like Marvel Mystery Oil, Sea Foam, uh, CRC, Gum Out and a lot of others even ones like Super Tech, the Walmart brand which is really inexpensive but hey if I can get good results out of us additive like super tech as low price as it is that would be a good additive to use so if you want to know how those results turn out check out my videos on each of those products I have some other products too that I hadn't mentioned the regain high mileage a little bit more we'll have our test results Okay guys, as you can see, we're coming up on the flashing lights, and that would be the finish line. So let's see how many miles per gallon we actually got. 39 miles per gallon. That's right, 39 miles per gallon. So actually, this is an improvement. What did you guys choose? Did you think it was actually gonna help any at all? Did you get it right? So do you really think this stuff's worth buying? Well, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this and tell me ways that you've used Marvel Mystery Oil. Like I said, I've used it also to clean the engine out and sprayed it in the intake and the combustion chamber with the borescope results. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Nate's Interactive Auto.